Well, you know, thank you so much for spending this whole week with us on hosting the supernatural. It has been our honor and our privilege to serve you the word of the Lord. This talk show, hosting the supernatural, our VIP guest is the Holy Spirit. And it's so wonderful this whole week. He's given prophecies. He's healed people. And, you know, that is what it's all about. I want you to get to know the Holy Spirit and fall in love with Him and start seeing how He works and how He functions. So hosting the supernatural, that's what it all, it's all about, is to introduce you to the supernatural power of God and the presence of God. So this is Friday night. We had a great week together. There was prophecies, there were healings, there were miracles. You interacted with us. Thank you so very much. And, and I believe that in the coming days and weeks, you're going to start seeing the manifestations of the year of restoration in your life. We have already touched on, on it's going to be acceleration that's going to take place. We already touched on that you're going to be healed in your physical body and emotionally. There's going to come financial breakthroughs for you. So many miracles are about to happen in your life, and we are looking forward that you share them with us. So why don't you go and share some testimonies? You know, uh, the details are on the screen. Go to my website and just share testimonies. Share some uh, prayer requests. Go and share some things that will encourage us and go on Facebook, join me there. I'd love to put a face to your name. Let's just start building this wonderful partnership we have together on hosting the supernatural. Well, like I said, it's Friday night. I want to give you the best. The best is tonight you're going to be touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, to, tonight I want to speak to you about it's going to be a time of reset. Reset. God is literally going to take his finger and he's going to press that reset button and you're going to have a brand new beginning in your life. Our God is not the God of just second chances. He's the God of new beginnings. And I want you to expect your new beginning from today. Expect it. That God is going to give you a brand new beginning, new hope, a new joy is coming to you. There is new fire coming to you. A new beginning is happening in your life. Now the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 43, the Bible says here in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19, he says, forget the former things. It's time that you forget what the people said about you, what they did about you, and, you know, all the offenses and hurt and bitterness. Why don't I challenge you? Why don't you just let go? Just let it go. And you'll start seeing what God is going to do in your life. He says, you forget the former things. And do not dwell on the past. Some of us, we just dwell on the past. We have an account. We have a, uh, it's like a calendar. You know, three weeks ago on this date and that time and so many seconds, you know, you looked at me like this. You said that. You did this. And we keep an account and a record of the past things. This is a brand new year, a brand new beginning with brand new things. The Bible declares, forget the things of the past. Don't dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Restoration is coming to you. It's a brand new thing that's going to happen in your life. I want you to get ready for that new thing. A new business, a new anointing, a new fire. Come on, a new glory that's coming upon you. Just a brand new beginning in God. So I want you to get ready for that. He says here, now it shall spring forth. Now, your miracle is on the way. Not 50 years from now, 20 years from now. The Bible declares, I'm doing a new thing, and now it shall come. I will make a way in the wilderness. I will bring streams in the wasteland. I believe there is new things coming for you in this year. New contracts that you did not even that did not even come up in your mind. There are amounts that you have not even learned to write. That's the type of new things I'm, I'm speaking about. New things. It's like you've never written a check of a million rand. It's going to start happening. Of 10 million, 100 million. These things, new things, new miracles, new salvations, new people are coming to you. New, new, new salvations are going to take place. You're going to see things that is... That, that no eye have seen, no ear has heard, nor has entered into heart of the man. Those things I'm talking about are coming to your life. And you better get ready for that because new things are coming. The reset button is being pressed in your life. And I believe it firmly in the name of Jesus. 
Now the next manifestation that's going to take place is the manifestation of the suddenness. The suddenness of God, the unexpected of God. You know, old Joseph, he went that night uh, in the prison overall. He went to bed in a, on a small, thin mattress. He ate rice and whatever. But the next night he slept in the king's palace with royal clothes and the best of Egypt. Egypt cotton was on the bed spreads them. And I'm telling you, he had the best of the best because the God that we serve is the God of the suddenly sudden miracles are coming to you sudden breakthroughs are coming to you sudden anointings are coming to you sudden deliverance is coming to you sudden uh, contracts are coming to you we serve a god of the sudden lease every day when you wake up you say this is my day of supernatural manifestations the sudden lease of god is going to be manifested in my life so I want to take you into one of our services where I preach about this. And as I preach about it, let the glory of God touch you. Let the presence of God come upon you and get excited. This is your moment for the suddenness of God. This is the word of the Lord for 2017. It's the year of restoration of all things that the devil took from us, stole from you. And in this year, especially in the first three months, you'll see a lot of restoration taking place. Attendances will be restored. Income shall be restored. All those things you'll start seeing manifesting for, for ministries in, in your personal life. You will really see a, a spirit of restoration and acceleration taking place in the first three months of this year. And we'll get into this in the weeks to come. So I already dealt with the, th um, the first two or three last week. I just want to quickly recap on that. What is the manifestations of the spirit of restoration in 27. What is the manifestations? There are 13 manifestations that's going to take place in this year. And the first one is, it's the year or it's the manifestation of restoration or of restitution and repositioning is taking place. So if you were not here last Sunday, please get the message. It's the year of acceleration and... Um, I think I can pick up there. It's the year of acceleration or the manifestation of acceleration that's going to take place. That's in Ezekiel chapter 12. And let's go there. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 23 up to verse 28. It says here, Tell them therefore, thus say of the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall uh, no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. In other words, every vision that you have is going to come into fruition. It's going to be a time of acceleration. So that means in 12 months, everything, everything that you believe in God for needs to come to place, needs to come into fruition. Verse number 24. For there shall be no more uh, any vain vision or flattering divination within the house of Israel. Divination, excuse me. For I am the Lord, I will speak... And the word of the Lord shall speak, shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. No more delayed. How many of you have a vision in this house? Well, this is the word of the Lord. It's not going to be prolonged anymore. It's not going to be delayed anymore. If I was you, I would run around the building, man. I've got so many prophecies over my life. And the Lord is telling me that in this year, you're going to see them come into flourishing. Verse 26, let's carry on there. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied it at the times that are afar off. Therefore say unto them, Thus say of the Lord, There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. So those people that have said it's still going to happen in five years, they, God is saying, cancel those things, cancel that proverb, cancel those sayings. But I am saying, says the Lord, no more delays, no more. Somebody shout, no more delays. Look at this. For I have spoken it, but the word which I have spoken, it shall be done says the Lord God Almighty. 
So all the prayers, all the prophecies, all the seeds you have sown, all the tears, all those things will happen quickly, says the Spirit of God. Whatever you declare is going to happen. So if you declare it's going to be a wonderful year, it's going to be a wonderful year. If you say, "Uh, I don't know about this year, then it's going to be, I don't know about this year. But I declare that every vision that I have and you have shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we're going to see the glory of God this year manifested. Shout amen if you believe it yet tonight. The angel of acceleration is being sent out. There's an angel of acceleration that has gone out to the earth. And this is what I want you to understand. It's a mega cycle that's going to take place. Because God is the God of times, seasons, and uh, days. He understands all these things. And we have to understand the biggest cycle ever is about to take place. The third thing, so the first one is restoration is coming. Number two is that acceleration is coming. Number three is that health is coming. We've already dealt with that. That in Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17, the Bible declares that I will restore unto you health. And I will restore unto you a heart that is healed of all the wounds. Those are the things that's going to take place in this year. Number four is that this is the year of reset. Reset. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 18 and 19. I want you to turn there or look on the screens. It says here, remember you not the former things. Press the button. Reset. Zero, 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 zero. Neither consider the things of all. Behold, I will do a new thing. When I put petrol in my car or diesel in my car, what do I do? I press the reset button. And we go back to zero again. God is about to do a reset in your life. A reset of everything the devil stole from you. Everything he did to you. God, I, I see it in my, in my spiritual eye, how God is waiting for people to say, here I am, God. He's waiting like, okay, I want to press the button. I want to reset your life that you can start all over again. It's going to be the year where you're going to say, I can't remember how bad that was. I can't even remember how bad years it's gone because I'm about to reset everything in your life. Somebody shout, reset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Behold, I will do a new thing. When shall it spring forth? Now. Say that word. Now. When? Now. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, Lord, come do it tonight for NBCFC. Do it tonight for me and press your button on my dial. Add to me extra years. Give unto me the joy of my life. Give unto me the presence of God. Come on. Reset. New beginning. Power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, I wish I had 500 people that can just... All right, so after the reset button is is, is being pressed, this is what happens. The following happens after the reset button is pressed. Unusual miracles, unusual signs and wonders are coming. You have to understand that there's going to be no more delays upon your life. God is going to remove every obstacle that has been placed by Satan in your life. It's going to be removed in this year. The next 12 months is going to be effortless. It's going to be sweatless. It's going to be an awesome year in the very presence of the Almighty God. Somebody shout amen. amen. So we, this is what I, what I want you to go and study. There is a portal that's about to open over this church, over your life. A window, a portal of, of the unusual things that are going to take place. We're going to see creative miracles in this year that you have not seen before. 
unrecorded stuff is going to take place. We're going to see the glory of God come down in a very supernatural way. The first thing that's going to take place is the unusual, unusual, sudden lease. <laughs> unusual, sudden lease of God is coming. Acts chapter 2. Let's go there. Acts chapter 2. Verse number 1 and verse number 2. It says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all worth? Can we get that right this year? One accord. We speak one language. The supernatural, the glory of God. We think one way. We love one another. We forgive quickly. We walk in the presence of God. What is that? That is one accord. In one accord, the power of God comes. Verse number two. And suddenly. Can you shout that word? One, two, three. Suddenly. There came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Now, I have never heard the wind come into, into any, of my, any of my meetings. I have, I have seen the rain come. I've seen rainfall. People have got wet in the presence of God. They were gold. They were, we had all the manifestations, but I've never seen the wind fall. Or I've never seen the wind come and just take that chair and just flip it upside down. But unusual things are going to happen this year. I don't know about you, Nicole, but I'm ready to see a wind come. And it's going to... It's going to come like a mighty rushing wind. You're going to hear the wind of God. Let's get the wind here. You're going to hear the wind of God. And then all of a sudden, that thing is going to come in this building. And you think you're still going to stand, and the wind is going to take you. How many of you are ready for unusual, suddenly? Yay! So unusual things are happening. Unusual things are going to take place this year. <laughs> unusual things like money is just going to start appearing in your life, in your, mon in your bank account. You're still going to look at your bank account and it's like, where does this come from? Uh, I thought my, I owe so much on my car. I thought I, I still owe so much on my house. Wh why is it all zero, zero, zero? Unusual, unusual. Unusual miracle. I know it's difficult for you to believe, but I'm telling you it's going to take place in this year. I'm coming out of debt. Come on. We have to see the unusual things. I, I, I prophesy and I declare to you that you, you're going to still see the, your bank account and the next time when you go on, it will not be going down. It will not going less. It will increase and increase and increase. And there shall come an increase. And there shall come a move of God. Come on. How many of you believe it here tonight? I declare houses are going to be paid up in this year. This year. No more debts. No more house debts. No more property debts. No more machinery debts. No more business debts. In the name of Jesus. Now. Suddenly. Unusual money coming. Unusual miracles coming. Unusual things are going to take place. Unusual things. And there's going to be a suddenly of revival. Suddenly revival is going to break out. Hey. It might happen tonight. It might happen tomorrow. It might happen next Sunday. It might happen at March. I don't know. But one thing I know for sure. Before I leave this planet. There's going to be a move of the Holy Ghost. And nobody is going to stop the move of the Holy Spirit. Come on, do you believe it with me here tonight? Yay! Come on, there's going to be unusual miracles. Unusual breakthroughs taking place. 
unusual financial miracles are going to take place in the arena of finances. Suddenly, suddenly. Andre, are you ready? I feel there's a song coming, son. Nadine, get ready. We're going to do something on Sundays tonight. Feel the sprays and hanging here. Doesn't want to let me go. I want to go to the next point. But tell my people suddenly. Suddenly. Son, tell them suddenly. They're going to still go to bed one night. The next morning, the business keys are going to be handed to them. Promotion is coming suddenly. Increase is coming suddenly. Come on, day three, suddenly. Suddenly.